thing we should give thanks. Amen. Some of y'all done stop clapping. Amen. You ought to tell God thank you. Amen. We get ready to cross over in 2022. Some people ain't going to cross over. Amen. But I believe we're going to be the one of the ones that will. So we should tell God thank you. Hallelujah. We give honor to Jesus on today. Amen. We honor the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. We honor our leaders on today, Apostle and Lady Love. That's a good place to put your hands together. Hallelujah. We are the Prophetess Jones and Trusty Jones this morning. Amen. We're so glad to see everyone. Amen. Under the sound of our voices this morning, we honor every preacher, every pastor, every evangelist, every prophet, every elder, every teacher, every usher, and every child. We honor the choir. That's a good place to put your hands together. Hallelujah. Y'all didn't see that choir back there, did you? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise. We honor the praise team this morning. Amen. As they get ready to sing forth God's songs. Amen. Y'all not singing to the people. You're singing to God. Amen. And when you get that in your heart, amen, you'll be glad to sing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. At this time, we're going to have our opening scripture. Amen. Amen. I open in scripture. I'm not sure. Amen. I open in scripture. Dorian Tillman and for the scripture is not here. And Jordan Jackson for the prayer. Amen. I open in scripture. We're coming from Psalms 150. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the ferment of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts and praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the sorcery and harp. Praise him with the temple and dance. Praise him with the string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise ye the Lord. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Our prayer will be coming from, amen, Brother Jordan, at this time. Amen. Pray, nephew. God, we're going to praise you today for having, letting us have to wake up this morning, yes. letting us able to breathe, yes. letting us able to praise you in all our ways, yes. and singing and praying and going up to the um, stuff. And we also want to praise you for helping us get through hard times. Yes. Praise you for, for letting our grandmas and grandpas live another day. Oh, yeah. 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 And we also want to praise you for for, I also want to praise you for letting me have a loving Nana. Yes, yes. And right. we want to praise you for and let you have their way with this um, service this yes. morning. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. I like that. Amen. Amen. Let's give God praise for our prayer and our scripture this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. That was a good prayer. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We honor our apostle this morning. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We honor our national mother, yeah. Evangelist Mary Alice Robinson. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. We hope everyone had a Merry Christmas. Yeah. Amen. Are y'all still married this morning? Yeah. Amen. I didn't say if you was married. I said, are you married? Yeah. yeah. Married means happy. Yeah. Amen. So at this time, we're going to, amen, go into our praise and worship. Amen. Devotion. Amen. Whichever one you want to call it. Amen. 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 So our opening song will be led by Minister Mitchell. Amen. <laughs> what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. You know the angels bow before you. Heaven and earth are
Amen. That's moving in this house. Yeah. And I believe that God wants to do something miraculous on this morning. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Glory to God. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We made it. Right. Oh, we the God.
Oh, oh, oh. 
Das war ein Fall. Ich würde mir mal anmachen.
If you believe God, you want to put a praise on it.
God. Let's thank God for these anointed musicians so on today. Come on, we can do better than that. We thank God for them. Amen. Wow. They are really flowing today. Amen. I feel like they've been in the presence of the Lord. I feel like they've been in the presence. The presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So we thank God for them. We thank God. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, God is going to bless them. Amen. Amen. He's already doing it. Amen. I'm telling you, when that overflow comes, we're going to bless them real good. I'm telling you, if God just to hold on just a little while longer, I'm telling you, amen, amen, amen. So we just we thank God for our late lady today. Come on, praise him. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Our sister pastor. Praise God. Praise God. We thank God. Amen. For our minister Mitchell. Our minister Stackhouse. Our minister Briggs this morning. Thank God for our national mother. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. I'm telling you. Ain't nothing gonna stop her. I'm telling you. This is the season. Amen. Everybody that counted her out. They, they, they gonna see. Huh? Yes, Lord. They gonna see. They couldn't count. Oh, they watching. Come on, I can't get it. They watching. Come on. Glory to God. I didn't, I didn't even delete them so they can see. Come on. What God is about to do. Come on. I can't get no help in here. Come on. Stop deleting people off of Facebook. Come on. Let them see what God is going to do. Come on. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not. Oh. We bless the Lord. I ain't deleting them for a reason. Doing. It says, see what the Lord has done. Count your many blessings and see what the Lord has done. Because glory to God, back then they didn't want us. Oh, Mike Jones in the building now. Come on. Now I'm hot now, trying to be on phone notice. Come on. Somebody shout, yes, Lord. Mike Jones. We're grateful today for what the Lord has done. Amen. Grateful, amen. We 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 ain't being cocky and conceited, no, because we know what God has done, yes. amen. And, and, and we know, amen, that there is no kind of competition in the kingdom. We ain't trying to compete against nobody. Come on, we just want to be we just want to be used by God. We just want to, amen, glory to God, to touch somebody's life that's out there. Amen. If we can touch somebody's life out there, I'm living and I'm working, I'm preaching, I'm teaching, prophesying, and everything. It's time for the word. It's time for the word. Everything is going down. But the word of the Lord. They should sing that song. Y'all know that song. Everything is going down. But the word of God. Amen. Listen, I know we didn't have the announcements. But let's remember, amen, starting tomorrow night at 7.30, we're starting our revival. Amen? amen? It's only two nights, Monday and Tuesday. Amen. That just give us a boost. Amen. That's giving us a boost. Amen. amen. To go, amen, to uh, uh, December the 31st. Amen. amen. And then we're going to Bennettsville for our watch night service. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We're going out with a bang. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And so, amen. Also, also, amen. Pastor Janice, amen, and her church, amen. You know, they wanted to invite us to eat with them on New Year's, amen, before we go to church, amen. And we know that. Let's pray for um, Sister Amanda's husband, amen. 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 And to ship him to Chapel Duke, Chapel Hill, 
Amen. And we don't understand and we don't know, but we know God knows. Amen. And we leave it in the Lord's hands. Amen. But I do believe that God can give him a new kidney. Amen. Oh, we go. He can dry it up. Come on, he can walk up that hospital. Heal the shall be his virtue. Ha! I believe God. And if God did it for me, come on. He can do it for him. Come on. Somebody shout yes, Lord. Amen. We're praying. We're also praying for Amen, Brother Stephen. Stephen. David, Damien, we pray for him, amen, as he go back and forth for treatments, amen, we believe that God can get in those treatments, amen, glory to God, and, and all those cells, come on, how did I show you? all those cells can go, amen, get in the right places, amen, glory to God, and the doctors will go in that little thing and look at them cells and say, wait a minute, now, we, 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 we thought we saw one thing, but glory to God, amen, glory to God, they go back and say, uh-uh, amen, family, we thought we saw, but now we don't see it, come on. God did it again. I believe God. I believe God. This, oh my. The Lord, oh, I got, I got to share it now. The Lord said that this, amen, 2022 is going to be our year of proof. Y'all yeah. don't believe this thing. Come on. Every Lord of God, everything that Lord of God, he promised. Come on. He said, I'm going to give you proof about it. Come on. He said it in his word. Come on. In Acts, he said, after the Holy Ghost, come on, has come upon you. Come on. You shall receive power. Come on. Somebody shall power. Come on. Somebody shall power. He's going to give us proof. He said, I got to prove myself yes, yes. to you guys. Yeah. Many people have been promising and saying this. Is like, okay, listen. This is how we're going to do this. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm telling y'all. That, that notebook you've been writing in, it ain't in vain. I'm telling you. He's gonna he, he's gonna prove himself to us. Amen. Amen. And so I'm just grateful and I'm thankful. Amen. And this is the season. Amen. We cut people off. Come on. Amen. Because let me tell you something. You you, you can't you can't say. Amen. You can't say you're part of the ministry. I've never seen you. And you want the blessings too. I can't get no help in here. love you enough to let you go so we can grow. Come on, I can't get no help in here. Come on. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. The angel can't come in and bring in more people if that person's seat is still occupied. Come on. Amen. Glory to God. And we got, we have the spirit enough we can say, all right. You are released. In my life, you release. In my telephone, you release. My inbox, you in you released. Come on, y'all. Amen. So we're working. Listen, this is how we're gonna do. We are going to our message. Amen. We have our tag team today. Amen. 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 This is how we're gonna do. We have um, we have our missionary Linda. Woo! Woo! Bring up the word. Our, our minister in training, that's what MIT is, minister in training. So lock in. And we have our minister breathe. Say amen. So this is how we're gonna do. Amen. And we have Amen, Sister Jayla, that's gonna minister to us in a dance. Amen. We got our Amen sister, Amen, Mitchell, that's gonna minister in a dance. And then we have Amen. God just set this thing up. Amen. Then we have a solo. Amen. Sister Janetta goes sing. Amen. Praise God. So God gonna set this thing up three and three. Y'all, y'all, y'all gonna get it. So we're gonna, we're gonna, amen, at this time, we're gonna uh, uh, ask Sister Jayla to come and minister to us 
and a minister of dance. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And um, I love, I love to see everybody minister. Yes. Amen. 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 After her, amen. We're going to ask amen, our men at MIT Joe to come and render us the message, his message. Right. After him, we're going to ask, amen, that our sister Mitchell come, amen, amen. and render us in a dance. Then after her will be missionary Linda. Amen. And after her, we're going to ask Sister Janetta to come and render us a solo. Amen. And then after her, we'll be Minister Briggs. I want her to come back up. Amen. Amen. Come on, if you love the Lord, come on, clap your hands and ask them to come. Amen. Amen. Amen.
let's give God some praise. I said, come on, let's give God some praise. As that song said, you just don't know. This morning I said, you about to do that song? She was like, yeah. I said, girl, you all in my mess. All right, all right. I'm going to start the song and I'm going to let him finish it. Go ahead, brother. Sing it now. I came to tell you what Jesus said. I came to tell you what Jesus said. say thank you for waking me up this morning. God, thank you for putting me on my way. God, I ask you, God, I just thank you for keeping me and my family shielded and protected, God. Keeping the city of praise and their family shielded and protected, God. God, I just thank you for it being done. God, I ask you, God, that you move me out the way today, God, and you just come on in and do what you need to do, God. God, I just thank you for it being done. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I'm coming from, uh, Matthew chapter 13, All right. verse 3. Start with verse 3. And I'm going to read 3 through 9. you got to say amen. amen. And it reads like this. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and some fowls came and devoured them over. <laughs> Some fell upon stony places right. where, the, where they had much earth. Therefore with they sprung up because they had no deepness of the earth. 
And when the sun was up, they were scorched. And, and because they had no root, they withered away. Some fell among thorns, and some sprang up and, and, and choked them. But others fell into the ground, and they brought fruit, fruit for fruit, some hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold, who had ears to let them hear. And I, I'm going to um, break it down for y'all the way that God had get me. Go ahead now. <laughs> right here it says, uh, the seeds that fell on the path, the birds ate it. The birds represent Satan. The seeds on the path represents people who hear the message but immediately lost. All right. People who don't live a good Christian life, they are focused on other things. Partying, clubbing, talking, texting, sleeping in church, talking about other people. Okay. Break it down. You got some people that's coming to church for all the wrong reasons. Right. You got some people that's coming to church just to see who's dressed the best. You got some people that's coming to the church in a three-piece piece suit <laughs> thinking they got it all together. Don't mean just because I, I, I don't dress the way you dress don't mean I ain't anointed. That's right. That's right. That's good, man. Just because you, you dress with three-point... Three-piece suit, and I'm dressed like this. Don't mean I ain't sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just because I don't have what you have, I don't like mean it. I ain't filled with That's the Holy Ghost. Right. Right. <clears throat> Some people just don't know what other people have to go through. Every people, when they first get saved. They don't have what you have. Uh -huh. People don't have the things that other people have. Some people go through things. Some people don't have to go through things. Right. But it's all the way that, you know, the wealth in their family. Some people don't have it. Other people have it. Amen. <clears throat> so God let me know it's time for us to stop judging what's on the outside of people and start judging what's on the inside of people. <laughs> the next seat that he gave me. He said, the seeds that fell on rocky ground where, where it was little, the little soil, the seed sprouted. But when the sun, sun came up, it burned it, burnt the young plants. Mm -hmm. The seed on rocky ground represents who responds with initial enthusiasm, but the word of God don't, don't sink in deep. When persecution or hard times come along, they all give up at once. But people, people co cannot commit to the Christian lifestyle. They are initially attracted, but give up when things get get tough. God was letting me know that you got a lot of people that's coming to church just thinking they can straddle the fence. Oh. He said it ain't gonna be no more straddling the fence. Oh. Either you're gonna be in or you're gonna be out. Yeah. It's time that people get real for God. Yeah. People don't hear, people don't come to hear the word no more when they hear about, like as you can see, that the house is empty today. But let somebody find out that a prophet's coming in town. This, house, this church will be fooled up with people. Mm -hmm. Prophecy ain't what keeps us from day to day. God, God's what keeps us from day to day, the word of God. That's why you have to be rooted and grounded in, 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 in God. But he was letting me know that sometimes trouble's going to come. Sometimes situations going to come. Sometimes folks going to talk about you. Sometimes people are going to be scandalizing your name. But he, he told me, he was like, it's going to get hard sometimes. But we've been made door for some nights, but joy will come in the morning. Joy. But I said, joy is going to come in the morning. Joy. God, I thank you. The, the next scene he gave me, he said, some seeds fell among, among thorn bushes, which grew up choked the plans. The thorn bushes choked the message of God. It is heard. People, some people concerned for riches and the words of life, <clears throat> causing the plants to die. Some people are too concerned about what others think and, and they worry too much. They may be jealous, angry, or concerned with the materialism. It doesn't matter what you think of, of people. You don't have, people don't have a heaven or a hell to put us in. That's right. right. Only God can do that. Right. So what people people don't like you. So what people talk about you. So what people scandalize your name. <clears throat> the ones you call your friends and family, you better be mindful of. Be the ones praying on you. The ones, the ones putting stumbling block blocks in your way. God let me know sometimes we got to steal away and cut people off. 
He said, people better be careful who they talk about in this season. Come on. Because in the word of God, he said, he will prepare a table in the midst of our enemies. Come on. The very ones that sit there praying against you, God will make them bring the very thing that they're praying against you. Oh, yeah. in, this, in this season, God let me know the things of the world. It's not about materialistic things. It's about how deep we can get in God. He said, one day these things will pass away, but God ain't going nowhere. Yeah. The last seed he gave me. He said, some seeds on the on the soil, on, some seeds fell on good soil. Plants produce uh, fruit. Good soil represents people who, who live the message in their lives. Example. <clears throat> some people have strong faith and remain dedicated to a Christian life, even when things get difficult. No matter what comes up in life, no matter what people say or do, no matter how bad things Things put you down. You remain faithful Thank and humble, you. and God will handle the rest. You have to live a life so that your light can shine bright. Yeah. Some people will see the, the God in you and through you. You can't be only a Christian when things go right. You have to be a Christian no matter what life throws at you. You have to be able to stand fast and firm on the word of God. God said it's time for his people who has always been in the back to come to the front. All right. No more of the People putting you down. No more people talking to you any kind of way. No more negativity. He said it's time for us as a whole, as a church as a whole, <clears throat> it's time for us to reap our harvest. I don't <clears throat> I don't know what the harvest will be, but he said 30, 60, and 100. Mm. Okay. Amen. Pray my strength to the Lord. Amen. Amen.
opportunity. God, I ask you that you come in today that I decrease, that you may increase so that I can bring this word to our people, God. God, I want to thank you today, God, for just loving us, God. And God, I just want to thank you for my church family, God, and I ask you to bless our leaders. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 The scriptures I'm going to use today is I'm going to Philippians 3 and 14 where it say, I press toward the mark for the prize all right, all right. of the higher calling of God in Christ Jesus. And then I want to go to Isaiah 40 and 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And for my subject, I'm going to say, going through but not giving up. I want to say that again. Going through but not giving up. And then for my subtitle, I'm going to say, are you a soldier? Because see, every day we live the life of being saved. Uh -huh. Are you saved today? Yeah. Then you should be living a life. All right. That means reading the word, praying, That's right. and that means fasting and being a soldier for the Lord. Yeah. See, sometimes your friends may walk away, but you shouldn't give up. You need to turn your problems over to Jesus, uh -huh. because he's always there waiting for you to reach out. Amen. He don't never walk away. Even though your friends may turn their back on you, Amen. he's right there waiting on you. When your body is sick, are you going to give up or are you going to go through? Because you've got to put your faith in Jesus. You must believe in what you are asking because faith without works are dead. I'm going to say that again. Faith without works are dead. When it seems like everything around you is falling apart or failing, are you going to give up? Or are you going to keep going knowing that God has got your back? When the doctor says there is no hope, do you give up or do you go to that secret closet and call on the doctor that can heal all diseases? Yeah. His name is Dr. Jesus. All right. So when you talk about Dr. Jesus, you think about what he can heal. He can heal cancer. Uh -huh. He can heal headaches. He can heal stomach aches. He can heal broken hearts. He can heal divorces. God can heal anything because he is Dr. Jesus that heals of all diseases. When you have loved ones that need to be saved, do you go through or do you give up? All right. You got to go through. Got to go through. Because God got that in control. You turn them over to Jesus. Right. Yeah. Because y'all know what? We just a nobody mm. trying to tell somebody yeah. about somebody who can save anybody. Yeah. Because God's going to take care of that for you. You can't be worried about it, crying over it. Because you know why? Because you got to say, God, you got this. Because if you're praying about it, you can't worry about it. And if you're worried about it, you can't keep praying about it. you got to let Jesus take control of that. And when it seems like those struggles that you got, y'all know how we struggle sometimes? you got to say, God, you got this. That's when you got to fall down on your knees and say, Jesus, can you handle this for me? Because I can't take it myself. You can't keep crying about it, but you got to say, God, I know I'm going through. But you got to help me get through this. Because, see, when it comes to that time when you turn to your friend, they'll turn their back on you. They'll walk away. They'll talk about you. They'll criticize you. But guess what Jesus will do? He'll fix it for you. He'll fix them. God is a fixer. So when you feel like all else fails, guess what? God got your back. So don't worry about it. Keep going through and don't give up. When it seems like that everything else is failing all around you. When it seems like your money funny, guess what? God will get the bills paid. Yeah. So let me take it out through the Bible a little bit. Daniel was in the lion's den. He was going through, but guess what? He didn't give up. The Hebrew boys was in the fire furnace. They were going through, but guess what? They didn't give up. Paul and Silas was locked in a Roman jail. They were going through, but guess what? They didn't give up. Mary saw her son on the cross. She was going through, but guess what? She didn't give up. Jesus walked this earth for us to save mankind. But guess what? He didn't give up. He gave his life for us to have everlasting life. What if Jesus had decided that he would give up and not go through for us? Where would we be? Y'all think about that. What would we be if every time something happened, we just decided to walk away? Guess what? You will be on your way to hell. But you don't give up, so God got your back. You got to remember that God got your back. See, saints don't fall down. When they fall down, they get back up again. You may fall down seven times, but what? Get back up again. So see, sometimes we don't even realize we're living our best life. But 
see, that's when you say, Jesus, you got my back. Jesus got your back. Not your brother, not your sister, not your mother, not your father. Jesus got your back. He the one got to come in and pick you up. You can't worry about nobody else. Because when you sitting there crying, when you sitting there worrying about your bills, guess what? That's when you find money. That's when the check's coming in the mail. That's when you get that promotion at work. That's when you know that everything is going through. Because you don't have to worry about it. See, sometimes you don't have to worry about things because Jesus is standing right beside you and you see them reaching out to the wrong person. That's when you got to realize. You start fasting. You start praying. Start listening to the apostle when he says you need to be on a fast. Go ahead and do it because I promise you that's when your blessings coming through. See, in Isaiah 7 and 14, it says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, seek my faith, and turn from their wicked way, then shall I serve, turn her from heaven and forgive their sins and heal the land. What do y'all think that means? That means if you ask God for it, he's going to give it to you. But guess what? you got to believe in what you're asking for. Because I tell you, if you don't believe it, you ain't going to receive it. And then when we think about how good God is, if you lose your job, it don't matter. Guess what? God can give you a note. And guess what? When you get that promotion on your job that you didn't deserve, it's because God gave it to you. Because, see, sometimes when you sit sitting at work and you sit sitting there saying, I don't deserve that, you don't know what you deserve. Because Christians deserve everything we can get. Because God is the one in control. It ain't your boss. It's God. God is in control. When you think you can't get that loan for that house, guess what? God is in control. When you think you can't get that new car, God is in control. When you think you can't get those children saved, God is in control. You don't have to worry about all that. God is the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. So he can take care of everything we need. So when you go through bad days, good days, good times, bad times, just remember no matter what you're going through, God is in control. So as I begin to close, I want to tell you something. Continue going through. You don't worry about it. Just don't ever give up. No matter what you're stressing over. Guess what? Don't give up. No matter what it looks like. Don't give up. No matter what it seems like. What? Don't give up. So when you get up in the morning and you got a headache, don't give up. When you get up in the morning and your key is acting funny, don't give up. When you get up in the morning and your money ain't right, what? Don't give up. So no matter what you're going through, what you're going to do, don't give up. God bless you.
Father, we ask that you decrease me. God, that people won't see me, but they'll see all of you. Hide me behind your cross, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we thank you for this time. We thank you for this opportunity to give a word to your people. Now, God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. For, Lord God, you are my strength and you are my redeemer. It's in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Giving honor to God who is the head of our life yeah. and to the apostle of this great church. Yeah. City of yeah. praise, apostle, my king, love to his first lady, yeah. elect lady, yeah. the only lady. <laughs> Amen. To Minister Stackhouse, yeah. to Minister in Training Joe, to Mother, Mother Robinson, and to our very own missionary, Miss Linda Smith. Amen. We praise God. Oh, can't forget to mention. <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> and to the Reverend Mid uh, Mitchell of this church as well. Amen. We praise God. <laughs> Prophetess Mitchell. <laughs> Prophetess. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Psalms 34 Read that I will bless the Lord at all times His praises shall continually Be in my mouth Verse 18 said The Lord is nigh unto them That are of a broken heart And save it such as be Of a contrite spirit Verse 19 read that Many are the affliction of the righteous But the Lord deliver him Out of them all if I was to leave you all with something, it would be that God's people will suffer, but God will deliver them out of them all. All right. Hallelujah. Uh, verse 34 and 19 said, many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Affliction is something that causes pain and suffering. Uh, we can look at poor people. And see how they are out upon the bridges without a home, without shelter, but they are afflicted, but God is surely going to bring them out of it. Here in the book of Psalm 34, verse, uh, 34, verse 19, it says that many are afflicted, but what it simply was trying to let us know is that we as the body of Christ can take this scripture and use it as an encouraging scripture during your extreme suffering. It's a statement showing that many of the righteous will suffer, uh, suffer many afflictions. Uh, if I have to go back to a couple of Sundays ago when Apostle was standing, letting people know that we're going to go through our worst times in 2022, but God is going to deliver us out of them all. It's a reassurance process that the Lord will deliver the righteous person from them. Yeah. Yeah. Then we continue reading it saying, but the Lord will will deliver. I know it might seem like I keep saying deliver, but the Lord will deliver. In other words, he's going to deliver us from the things that can that can and will possibly lead us into danger. He wants to set us free so that we will not have to look back 
on our past, but we can focus on our future. The Lord will deliver you out of them all. Yeah. Talking about your afflictions. Can we even imagine how daily we as people, uh, people of God, how we go through people slandering our names? Uh, can we even think about how they even insulted us? Uh, do we even sit and think how, how many times we turn our backs on people daily and most of the time it's us Christian folks that's turning our backs on the people that need us the most. Uh, Christianity is not trending anymore because now it's being blamed for various problems perceived in society. But look at your neighbor and let your neighbor know that we are preparing for an affliction. Uh, see how Peter uses Psalms 34 and uh, it helps us see the richness of what David is doing in Psalms 34. As Peter saw Psalms 34, it prepares us to suffer. It's not only a call for God's people to celebrate with David his deliverance from, from affliction, but it's also as we do so to prepare ourselves for our own affliction, whether we are already present or coming. Right. We see in, this, uh, in the very first line of Psalms 34, it said that I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Why do we say at all times? Because there are times when praising the Lord might seem unusual and at least unexpected times when we assume praises, it just might cease. When would that be? Hard time affliction and yet David having coming through such an affliction, the scripture notes the time of his life was under a threat among the Philistines but David still declared that I will bless the Lord at all times not just in good times when praises is easy not just when all seem right with the world, not just those times but at all times when under threat when hard times come, when it's uncertain, when it's painful, when it's impatient and I just want the pandemic to be over and get back to normal life and it drags on and on but I will bless the Lord at all times then at a moment in down of uh, the downtime of your life in the trials, in the pain, in the afflictions, there's all times that David was talking about. Alright. Uh, yeah, that was all the time that David was talking about. That's the context in which we should read in verse 8. Verse 8 said that, uh, taste and see all right. that the Lord is good. When 1 Peter 2 and 3 brings us to our attention and say, if you have tasted and seen that the Lord is good, uh, Peter was appealing to what these in battle believe themselves have experienced in affliction. The very thing David called us to in Psalms 34 is to taste and see in affliction, in bad times, in the bad times that the Lord is good, to trust him against all of your odds, lean on him, rest in him when there seems to be no way out. When things are bad, taste and see that the Lord is good. So with that, with the help from the Apostle Peter on how to read the Psalms. Consider four truths from Psalm 34 for us in our generation and in this pandemic. And the first one is that God people will suffer. Verse 19 and 22, the verse the first part of verse 19 said, many are the affliction of the righteous. Let that statement have its effect. Don't move on too quickly because Jesus said to his followers in John 16 that in the world you will have tribulation. Yeah, yeah. And the apostle Paul went around to his church plants as he gave them the basic of the Christian's life and taught them through many tribulations that we must enter into the kingdom of God. Uh, and to the Thessalonians Paul writes about their afflictions. You yourself know that we are destined for this for when we were with you, we kept telling you beforehand that we were to suffer affliction. Being God's people, the righteous is no promise of earthly ease. In fact, when it comes promises of affliction, and not just some, but many, many are the affliction of the righteous. So we might as well, uh, we might as well put the pretty poor treatment from an all-powerful God towards his people. Why then be, why then be bothered of being righteous? 
verse 22, verse 21 and 22 makes clear that affliction serves two contrasting purposes for the righteous, for the wicked, for God's people, and for his enemies. Uh, affliction will slay the wicked. And those who are hate, uh, those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeemed the life of his servant. None of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. All right. Affliction ruins the wicked. Mm -hmm. It's the end of the story. Uh, it's the end of that story. But affliction makes the righteous and is not their end. Mm -hmm. Reveals their true color. It has a humbling effect rather than a hardened effect. While having a, uh, a punctuative effect for the wicked, the wicked will be condemned at the final judgment. The righteous, though afflicted and through affliction, will not be condemned, but the Lord himself will redeem their life. But we need to ask more about the righteous here. Yeah. Who are the righteous? In verse 15, who are God's people? His servant in verse 22. His saints in verse 9. I want to be in that number. Psalms 34 tells us far more about God's people than they that are righteous, but also what make them righteous. Verse 2 lets us know that they are humble. Let the humble hear and be glad. Verse 5 lets us know that they are those who look to him. Verse 7 and 9 lets us know that those who fear him. Verse 8 and 22 tells us that those who take refuge in him. Verse 10 lets us know those who seek the Lord. Verse 14 lets us know that they turn away from evil and do good. Verse 18, he calls them broken hearted and crushed in spirit. Not the unbroken and the uncrushed and crushed. So as the whole song is lies and as verse 19 makes it split, God's people will suffer. The affliction of the righteous are many. City church, we take this as utter seriousness. We do not pretend that Christianity frees us from affliction in this world. In fact, we assume it brings more for now and not less. Many afflictions. And so Peter tells his reader in 1 Peter 4 and 1, arm yourself with this way of thinking. He says in 1 Peter 4 and 12, beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test you as though something strange were happening to you. But he said, expect it. Prepare your heart for it. City churches, let's be armed. Let's not be surprised. But let's be ready.
Oh, God. 
of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver them out of the mob. Come on, let's thank God. Come on. Come on, somebody shout, He will. Hey! Hey! He will deliver you out of all. Come on. Not some things. Come on. But all things. Come on. A L L. Come on. All things. Come on. All things work together. Come on. For the good. Come on. Thank God for Come on. Let's thank God for MIT. Joe Unclear. Come on, let's thank God for Minister Dontrell Briggs. Come on. But most of all, let's thank God for Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, to God be the glory. I say to God be the glory. Why are you clapping? Let thank God for Sister Jayla. Come on. Thank God for Sister Tierra. Come on. Thank God for Sister Janetta. Excited over the word. Get excited over the word. I'm telling you, because God gonna prove Himself to us. Yes, He is through the word. Through the word. Awesome job. Awesome. 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 Let you know that God is using everybody, not just the ministers. I can get no help in here. He is speaking. And I'm so excited how they studied and broke down the word of God. Oh, I can't get no help in here. Amen. They told you that even with the scripture is saying, Amen. And this is not the last. We're going to be hearing more from them. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And so we're grateful. Thank you, Lord. Amen. With the hand raised up in here today. Father, we thank you. We praise you now. We thank you for the word. We thank you for what eyes have seen, ears have heard. We have to have We give you glory. We give you praise. Now, God, we actually have strengthened our preachers of the speakers of the hour. God, anoint them afresh. God, thank you for giving them wisdom and knowledge to study your word. We thank you. We praise you. We love you now. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Praise God. Amen. Awesome job. You may be seen in the presence of the Lord. We thank God today for our visitor. Today, thank God for him. today be with us. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Today. Amen, brother. Amen. Tommy McIntyre. Amen. 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 Thank God for him. Amen. And, um, amen. Oh amen. For Maxton. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I saw that name and it looked like Tires. Praise God. Amen. And so we're grateful. Amen. We're thankful. Please don't let this be the last time you come. Amen. You came today. Amen. One time you visit, the next time you're family. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And so we're grateful and we're thankful. We're thankful for. Amen. Yesterday, amen. Thank God for Christmas on yesterday. Amen. We pray that everyone was happy. We pray that, amen. And I'm telling you, Amen. I, I, I was saying this yesterday, and I mean it. Amen. Um, even if, even if, um, amen. Even if I didn't get anything. 
in just being alive. Right. Just being alive. Just being alive is, is, is a blessing. Amen. And so we're so grateful. We're thankful. Amen for that. And, um, we thank God. Amen. Let's not forget. Amen. Let's not forget revival tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Let's be here. Praise the worship team. Please be here on time. Amen. So we're going to praise the worship. Amen. Uh, we have someone leading praise the worship. We're just going to help them. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Let's be on time. Let's let's have a good time. Amen. 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 Monday and Tuesday. And then, amen. We'll come back. I, I don't, New Year's is Friday. What is New Year's? Is it Thursday or Friday? Friday. 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 Amen. So let's be back here. Amen. They're going to start feeding at 6 p.m. Amen. They'll start feeding at 6 p.m. Amen. And then we're going to leave. Amen. Go straight to Bennettsville. Amen. Amen. And please, you can dress comfortable. Women, we're going to a church. Amen. Women. Amen. Then we're going to a church that, um, they like for the women to wear skirts. Amen. So please wear a skirt. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Which our women always wear skirts anyway, but just want to make sure. Amen. That we know that. And we're going to have a good time. Amen. Amen. Uh, Pastor Janice said that we'll be going with us as well to Bennettsville. Amen. So we have a long line uh, going with us. So please. We don't want to leave nobody. Amen? Amen. Praise God. So um, let's, let's not forget about that. All right. I think that's everything. Amen. All right. Let us all stand. We're going to the house. Amen. Amen. Our deacon said if you get off early, he'll be there. Amen. Thank God for Brother Curtis. Amen. Have you, have you cooled down a little bit? Just a little bit. All right. He was singing so it's getting hot in here. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's good to laugh in the house of God. Amen. amen. We're missing. Amen. We pray for our those who not those who are at work. We've been a lunch room and uh, short text me saying you've been at work. Amen. So we're praying for them. Yeah. Amen. We're praying for those. Amen. Sister Mary. Amen. We're praying for her. We're praying for uh, just the hope in her children. Amen. Amen. We pray for those who are not here. Amen. Next Sunday is the first Sunday. Amen. We pray. Amen. For Sister Linda and her family going to Florida. Amen. Hopefully they'll be back by next Sunday. Praise God. Amen. Uh, first Sunday. Amen. Amen. Next Sunday is the first Sunday. Yeah. Amen. 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 And so, amen. We are going to have communion next Sunday. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So we're asking all our preachers to please, amen, be in robes. Amen. Next Sunday. Amen. If you don't have robes, amen, all black with your clergy collars. Amen. amen. Praise amen. God. Amen. If not, amen, have all black and, uh, 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 and uh, those who are missionaries to be in white. Praise the Lord. Amen. Those who don't have black, wear white. Amen. Praise God. But by the Next, next time we have, amen, we want everyone to be all white. Praise God. Amen. 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 So communion next Sunday, please, our deacon, amen, and our missionary, amen, please have communion prepared, amen, and ready, amen, for next Sunday. Amen. 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 Praise God. All right. We love you, amen, but we're so excited about what God is doing, amen, in this season, amen, and, and like our sister pastor always say, Lord, amen, what are you doing this season? Don't do it without me. Amen. But we thank God with your right hand raised up in the air. Amen. With your mouth open, telling God something that you want him to do this week before this week is out. Come on. Open your mouth right there. Come on. I can hear y'all. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. With the loud voice. With your loud voices. Hallelujah. Father, cover us this week. God, give us miracle signs and wonders this week. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, as we leave this place, but never from your presence, keep us safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. Seen and unseen. In Jesus' name, repeat after me much prayer, much power, little prayer, little power. No prayer, no power, but all prayer, all power. Praise is what we do. You are dismissed.
sir. Thank you. You love it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Are you related to me? I'm sorry, sir. Don't you have your picture? I forgot. We would like to say happy birthday, amen, uh, belated birthday to our deacon, Michael Stackhouse. Happy birthday. I got you something in the office, deacon. Charge it to my head and not to my heart. And charge it to minister mention. You keep it here. Hey, that one that needs to be fixed, don't take that. We'll fix it. The one y'all. Oh, you can it. Here, yeah, put it in here, and then we'll we'll fix that other one. Let's put it here. That way you'll be here. I had been up because I knew I was going to look for you. Oh, I told her it was going on. 